Alright guys, so let's talk about university. So let's start off with a rich student life. Well, in Lund, there's a lot of traditions like the nations, student unions, specs, Lunde Carnivalen, the Lunde Carnival, balls and other cool parties and traditions. To start off with the nations, there are 12 of them in Lund. So a nation is like this organization that, well, they arrange stuff for the students. So they arrange these kind of parties and these balls and they have clubs and stuff and also lunches and different kind of events. We also have the student unions. I'm an active member in Lundekonomena, which is my student union. So I am the lead guitarist in the house band of Lundekonomena. So what we do is we play music at their big parties and everything Lundekonomena arranges. Also, let's go on to the traditions. A big tradition in Lund is the specs. All right, so I written this down, it's pretty fancy. A specs is a form of amateur comedy theater act performed by students. For example, Lunda Spexana. And uh, another tradition is Valborg, of course. If you've seen my video, this is Valborg, then you know what Valborg is. But if you want to check that out, the link is going to be in the description. Also, let's move on to the balls. I think most of the nations arranges balls, and also the student unions arrange balls. So you dress up fancy and then you go party. Another big tradition and it's called the Lunda Carnival. So it's a carnival that happens every fourth year and it's arranged by students. Like this year we had the Lunda Carnival and we were 5,500 students, carnivalists. So it's a big carnival with big artists, parties, clubs. So everyone's welcome to be there, but it's only arranged by students. So let's move on to housing and where to live. My first big tip. You need to be quick on the market when it comes to housing and in Lund. So be first or be quick on the market. If you're accepted into the university, you should place yourself in a queue. You can place yourself in a queue in Alf Bolstader or at the Nations. Alf Bolstader is just a normal queue, you stand in the line. The big difference between Alf Bolstader and the Nations when it comes to this matter is that in the Nations you can work yourself up in the queue. For example at Lund's Nation I know, they have this queue system where you place yourself in the queue and if you work at the nation, then you gather points. The more you work, the more points you get, and the more points you get, the further up you climb in the queue. So eventually you'll get an apartment or a room. So I'm gonna post down below a link to the nations and also to all of Bolstedder so you can check it out. My other tip is, if you are offered a room or an apartment, then you should definitely take that room because you could always change it up in the future. Okay, so let's talk about my room. If you see my room, then you know that I live in Lund's Nation and it's a dorm. And we are like 13 or 15 people. I don't remember from the top of my head, but anyways, it's a dorm room. It's 19 square meters. And if you haven't seen my room, then go check that out. The link is gonna be in the description. And my room, well, I got my room through a lottery. So some of the nations have their own lottery for a room or an apartment. And that's how I got mine in Lund's Nation. So yeah. That's what you can do. You can go through a lottery, you can go through the queue, you can work yourself up at the nations. So, uh, yeah. If you have any questions, guys, then write them down in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. And if you want to see more of this, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, of course. Thank you for watching and hype Max out.